What is going on YouTube? I believe this is part three of the budget 815s build that we are doing in the Sequoia. Today is going to be a super exciting day because in this video, we are going to be building the big old box. So super, super excited for this. This is a really pivotal point. It's basically the rest of my design. This kind of really go around the box, just where I'm going to be mounting amps, mounting the batteries, all that. So let's get into it. Real quick, guys, I want to remind y'all that at the end of this series, we are giving away this American-based XFL 15. This is a subscriber giveaway, so I really, really appreciate all of my old and new subscribers. Now, as I have mentioned, at the moment, we're at about 75,000 subscribers, but should we get up to 80,000 subscribers by the end of this series, I'll throw in 300 bucks. 90,000, I will throw in 700 bucks. And should we get to 100,000? I'll throw in 1500 bucks. So thank you all so, so much. Back to the video. In the last episode of this series, we tore out the old system from the Sequoia. So we got all my amps, all my wiring, got all that out of there that we needed to get out. So for this series, of course, we're gonna be designing and building the box for this. My buddy Patrick is gonna be coming up. He's gonna be going over that process. And then, hey, you'll see us do it. So today, what I gotta do, first off, I got a mess in the garage. I got to take some stuff to the dump, get this place all nice and cleaned out so we have plenty, plenty of room to work. And then I got to stop by Lowe's and spend way too much money on plywood. So let's get into that. Truck is loaded up, off to the dump. This is the stuff I like to use, is it's a lot uh, lighter. It's already real nice and smooth, makes for a much nicer finish than regular plywood, but Y'all, it is crazy expensive. But even if I go to the nice sanded plywood, it still isn't cheap. And then the regular sanded plywood was $69. So might as well just go with this. I had to get seven sheets. And y'all, it was $603. So kind of crazy. Back at the shop, so nice to have all the junk finally out of here. So it's gotta sweep up a little bit. Then we'll pull all the plywood into here. rest of my headways showed up today ordered 50 of them so uh, let's open this up make sure that all looks good okay got this open this is actually really exciting look at this even though these are used cells from battery hookup these look like actually look like pretty much new cells guys look at that 2021-01-04 not even two years old which again for these cells is really pretty new Let's just check and see if they're all like that. 2021-06-05, 2021-02-010, 2021-07-20. That one's got a little nick in it, but it's still 2021-02-10. So when you order a used cell from battery hookup, you kind of get the luck of the draw. I see a lot of people getting cells that were like from 2016. And hey, they seem to work fine. Nothing necessarily wrong with that, but obviously getting ones that are five years newer just gonna last longer and just be overall a better product. At least that's what it looks like. So, so, so excited about this. So FedEx dropped off the cells. Uh, right after FedEx came, USPS came, dropped off some more stuff. So let's see, what do we got here? This is from Limitless Lithium. And I pull American decal from them. And then look at this. This is the last thing I'm actually really waiting on for the box. This of course is a four channel Block. This thing 
absolutely awesome. Since I have eight subs, I'll be able to hook up two to each of these. We'll then be able to jump the two going to one amp, the two going to the other amp, and then just run the wires straight to the amp. So this was awesome. It'll make everything a lot neater and just overall a lot easier. Okay, next up, Big Jeff. Over at Big Jeff Audio sent me out a little care package just to be nice, so that's really cool. Let's check out and see what we got there. Basically, he hit me up a few days ago and just said that he appreciated the fact that I had purchased some stuff through them in the past and given them some shout outs and said maybe he'd want to work together on some stuff in the future. So he just wanted to go ahead and send me a little care package. So this is very cool. Let's see what we got. All right, we got a black diamond audio hoodie, got a black diamond audio t-shirt, got a big Jeff t-shirt. That's pretty sweet. We got a big Jeff hoodie. Oh, uh, that's cool. Got a cup, a koozie, a beanie. Starting to get cold, so that could come in handy. Got a hat, wristband, a pocket knife, keychain, and a sticker. Big Jeff, thank you so, so much for sending me out this stuff. I really, really appreciate it. And guys, you know we're doing an American base build here. And Big Jeff Audio does carry American base. They didn't give me any discount to really help out with this build whatsoever. But I have ordered a good dub American base from them in from them in the past just because they normally have the best deal on it and they ship it super super quick as well. So once again, thank you so much. Now tomorrow, my box designer, Patrick over at Smashy Designs, is gonna come up. He's gonna help me assemble this box. But I've already given him all the dimensions. He went ahead and sent me back all the box specs. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting some of this, uh, just kind of getting it ready so that way when he does come over tomorrow. We are ready to knock this out, not waste any time. Now in building a box this big, you're really gonna take a lot of things into account. One of them was just ease of building the box and trying to be as efficient with the wood as I can since it is so, so expensive. Now it's really, really handy. The widest I can really go in my car is four feet. And of course your standard sheet of plywood is already cut to four feet. So that works out absolutely perfect. Here is the layout for the eight subs. That is of course my 60 inch mark right there. Just so y'all can see that we have plenty of room for these fellas. This is gonna be absolutely insane. Now we're gonna cut this guy at 60 inches, which is five feet. Go ahead and mark that right there. Now my saw has an inch and a half between here and here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come back one inch and a half. We're gonna mark that there. And then I'm gonna take my level. We're gonna clamp it down right here. So that way, when we go to cut, all we gotta do run this right along the level. We'll get a nice, perfectly straight cut. As you can see guys, that gave me a perfectly straight cut way straighter than I could cut it on my own, right exactly at 60 inches. Okay, went ahead, got a couple pieces cut. Uh, for what I know for tomorrow. I'm pretty sure we have settled on a design, on a plan, but I'm not 100% sure on all the specs yet. What I do know is how wide the box is gonna be and how deep the box is gonna be. So if we do have to adjust anything, we can raise or shorten the box a little bit to get that extra airspace. So I took all that into account when cutting these pieces. Just wanted to get a little bit ahead of the game ready for tomorrow. 